hello friends welcome to my channel go digit today in this video we will learn about this topic called control access to business central using security groups so what exactly security group is and how to configure it we will learn this today in the uh, today's video so before i start with the security group let me tell you that why we are learning this uh, topic today uh, actually uh, the thing is any of your customer if now upgrade their current business central version from bc21 to the latest version which is bc22 okay so they will they all will now get the warning of uh, that user group feature is now deprecated and we have to uh, use this uh, security group feature right so user group is as we all know it's not a new feature it's it is it is really part of the business and this is so long and it is really a very nice feature that where uh, we can group our multiple users who share the common processes and under one hood under one group name and through that we can assign the permissions not to the user but to that group itself and as soon as we assign one permission to that group that permission automatically added to all those users who are the part of that group so it becomes so easy to handle the permissions part in the business central and since we all know that permissions is really really an important factor uh, for any user who will work on the business central because we are doing a business processes here in putting the data modification of the data deletion of the data so this is really really important but the thing is user group was a very nice feature but it is now deprecated in the bc22 it is not available so if you are using business uh, user group in your bc21 so as soon as you update to bc22 microsoft has already provided you this feature where they will convert every user group which you already have into the security group okay but let's say if you want to create a new security group we will learn this today in the today's video so first of all uh, as you can see i am currently running bc22 and it has when i open the user group page it is showing me user group functionality is disabled in your system if you want to use extensions that depend on user groups you need to disable the feature convert user group permissions right so right now the thing is that uh, with the bc22 microsoft already providing this feature to convert all your user group permissions into the security group but uh, in case uh, you have some extensions on the uh, which are depends on user group so you have to uh, again refactor your extensions to not comply with the user group feature anymore but to comply with the security group feature okay so this is about the user group and there is no need to create any new user group because it they are not uh, now recommended by microsoft so let's open the security group here and now you can see here that i have the security group page available currently no security group is added and in if you see this fact boxes here we have the permission sets the members which means uh, what are the permission sets assigned to one particular group and how many members are or the users belongs to that particular security group okay so now you can see here that uh, one new button is coming up and if i click on the new it opens me this thing which is called new security group and it is now giving me this aad security group name and the code let's click on this and right now it is showing me one available security group called business central okay but no other name is available and apart from this that means i cannot create any new in the business central only okay so security group is a integral feature of business central but you cannot directly create any new group here for that you have to go to the azure portal because azure portal as we all know 
through which you handle all your cloud features and whenever you buy the subscription of uh, any of the microsoft uh, offerings like business center sharepoint or uh, power apps whatever you guys are using it uh, microsoft 365 so uh, the thing is if your organization is uh, already transferred to the cloud then you know that you uh, definitely be using the azure active directory where all your users members every uh, the company register tenant id client id everything is available there in the azure active directory so uh, the thing is if you see here manage azure active directory i have this uh, already there because i am using the cloud version of the business central and here you can see that i have this uh, how many users are there okay belongs to that uh, my company and then we can see the other details as well accordingly now if you go back again here you will see this groups feature okay so now when you click on the groups it is showing you currently all the groups but the thing is in our business central when i click on this aad security group name which is the azure active directory security group name and you click here it is showing me only the business central and not the other groups why because as we learn that microsoft business central is only supporting the security group feature and if you see the group type here the other group types are distributions microsoft 365 security so only one group is there which belongs to the or which has this type security that's why only this is currently showing up there okay so let's create a new group here for example uh, your company have the sales department the purchase department the finance department okay so based on that departments and you know that one department can have multiple users so it is best that uh, we created our uh, we created our groups based on our departments and we assign our members to those particular departments right so let's name it like business central uh, let's say sales it is a group type sales only okay sales process handling and right now no owner selected no member selected if you want you can from here select that who will be the owner of this group let me select this one okay and in case you want to attach the members you can always do so like this okay and uh, let's say i add this one also select so two members are created selected so let's create this group right so successfully created the group uh, let me refresh It should come yeah now it is coming up so business center says new group is now available okay and if I go back again to the business center and if I click here you can see that second group is also showing up okay and let's select this second group click on create And now you can see as soon the new record gets created here the username admin which we have selected here is now showing up okay so if you come here and see the members so this mod administrator is already showing up maybe this second user is not the part of my current business central and that's why it is not available let's add another uh, user let's say uh, I add some okay let me add this one select refresh I 
think it will take some time to refresh maybe okay now now it is coming up okay and if I refresh the security group again let's say and you will see this list and now you can see that second user also showing up here why it is so let me go and open the user page so currently my users table only have the two users one is a modern administrator and second one is sam and that's why uh, this uh, in the azure portal although i have this uh, third user as well showing up here but uh, you cannot uh, this user will not be available in my particular this security group because it is not the part of the business center right so this is the way through which you can create the security group here in the azure portal and that all will be automatically gets updated in the business center okay one another thing is that you can not only add members as a, like the user members in the group but also you can add uh, groups as well so for example i open this uh, one existing group called business central let me go to the member side and here uh, currently there are no direct members so what i can do here i can click on add members and what we can do we can from here select our newly created group so i select this click on select button and now member successfully added so as we all know it will take some bit of time uh, to refresh and by the time the new group will be available here uh, let's wait okay so now it is showing up so let's do one thing uh, create that group as well here in the business central uh, so this is the second group which I can add here create and now you can see that second group is also showing up but let's see this thing in this particular group I have manually added my two members and that's what they are showing up here but in this second group I have not added any user but still those users are coming up why because these users are the part of this business central sales group and because business central sales group is directly related directly a member of this business central group so hence these users also indirectly a member of this business central group right so this becomes so easy uh, to the global administrator who generally handle this work of managing the users for the organization it becomes so easy for him or her to to not only manage uh, multiple users of different different departments but the thing is where you can attach or add one group into one another group so it becomes very very super easy to add the things and delete the things or modify the things right so now the thing is let's go back to the business central so uh, we have already two groups are available now and if we click on the members uh, it will open up the list of all the users which are the part of this group and you can see here that a security group members are showing up and in case you want to see the permissions you can click on the permissions and now whatever permissions you will assign to this particular group uh, let's say d365 account uh, receivable i will add okay so now this feature this permission will become a part of this group and automatically get added to that particular users right so this is how it becomes so easy to to group the members to assign the permissions to the group and automatically these permissions will be added to the users okay so in today's video i know the the topic is uh, very very uh, useful at the moment because uh, all the customers who are migrating towards the bc22 
uh, from the BC21, they will all get this warning of user group uh, feature deprecation. So my request is if you understand this concept, start applying this concept to your organizations, to your customers and start updating your extensions as well, which are directly dependent on the user group uh, uh, for the current time. So update your extensions as well and uh, start using the new features which are uh, being showing up in the new version of Business Central that is BC22. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.